Here is our new prototype of the Gurgle Apps LED matrix display. We started using KiCad a while back, mostly for simpler projects like our PCB coasters, which you can find on our Etsy shop, link will be in description. We've made our own circuit boards in the past, like for our Pico pianos, where we etch the boards ourselves using copper and ferric chloride. But making them in our kitchen isn't the best idea, especially if we're wanting to sell to you guys, our loyal customers. So we've turned to KiCad for design and had them manufactured elsewhere. We'd used the KiCad software for simple embellishments, but this time I wanted to dive deeper, try something more complex with some electronic components and some circuitry. The result, our custom matrix display. I hacked around with the technology for about a few hours until I realised I probably needed some more professional help, so I recruited a fellow subscriber, Mark, and he taught me a ton about PCP design and manufacturing, and when I asked how I could replay him, he simply just said to pass the knowledge on to you guys. So if you guys are interested, I'm planning on sharing what I've learnt in some future tutorials. The moment they arrived, I was itching to find out if they would actually work. So I connected my matrix display to our matrix display tester circuit, which needs a lot of improvement. And after all that work, it lit up, which I was so happy with. Flashback to Halloween, we made some pumpkin eyes and we also made a flame, which is what I want to test out right now for your pumpkins. Um, so I'm just gonna connect the circuit to one of our new matrix displays. So if you can just focus on this, Caleb. I don't know if I'm doing it justice. I picked up so many interesting skills during this build. For example, I learned how to add these little mouse ears, which are little tabs on the side of the board edges that make the manufacturing process smoother, but they can be removed by you guys to fit inside projects like our word clock. I also learned how to root and add wires, which are those tiny holes connecting the front and the back of the board. And each track you see here was carefully rooted by hand, which, well, on the software by hand, which was a lot of work, but so satisfying when everything worked out. Looking ahead, I have some ideas for the next version. For example, I'll add some data out pads and refine the silk screen. And then hopefully it will be available for you guys to purchase for yourselves, for your own projects, or for your own word clock, which you can see I'm assembling here with this bold pink filament, which I think looks very cool. More updates and projects to come and um, the updated version of this matrices will be available to buy from my shop soon. And thank you to all of those, um, all of you guys that have already bought from my shop. The support means so much. Um, if you don't already know, you can buy these coasters from my shop and our word clock along with um, little bits that go into that word clock. Uh, thank you for supporting us guys and thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give us a like and a subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.